All right, here's how to change an electronic boost control solenoid. So first thing, grab your 10 mil socket. Take this guy off. Once you take out this bolt, then you're gonna have the solenoid basically loose. Disconnect the connector going into the solenoid. Disconnect the upper uh, upper connection port into there. Then you're going to remove the two vacuum lines going into the solenoid. You use a flathead screwdriver, just just wiggle around it, just get it loose, and then you'll be able to pull it out. Easy like so. So that's your solenoid. Next you're going to want to remove the elbow vacuum line hose going into your um, intake arm I believe. So once again just use a flathead screwdriver, pry around it, wiggle it, get it loose and then just pull. that next you're gonna go to the back near the turbo to this Y connector is located right here and basically wiggle those clamps facing upwards so I use a flathead just to move it so I can reach it better by facing it upwards so I can get a needle nose into there so this is two clamps Once you get it facing towards you, just get your needle nose, push the clamp away from the line, like so. Same for the other side. Now we just start working on the line. Squeeze the line side to side. Spray some penetrating fluid if you have. And just uh, poke with a flathead screwdriver. Try not to gouge the, the inlet there. Just uh, be careful. So just, just work with it slowly. Take your time. And you'll want to do it on both sides and once you're done you should be able to pull out the whole connector as you see this is the other side it's a little bit tricky to get to so once you get some penetrating fluid in there and your flathead just work with it wiggle side to side push there you go she's out that's what she said So once that's out, just pull it straight out, right under the manifold right there, she'll come out. So yeah, just yank it through, she'll come right out. And that is the line. So with this T fitting, you're going to want to Take out the coupler right here. It's a sizing coupler. Basically just pull it through. And you want to keep that aside. Next you're going to go find that elbow that we removed earlier. And you're going to want to fit it back in with the sizing connector.
Next up, you want to grab your new electronic boost control solenoid, place it right here, and you're gonna place the 10 millimeter bolt underneath this time. Instead of it on top, it's underneath. So tighten that down with your 10 millimeter socket. Get it snug, don't have you too tight. And then we're gonna run this line underneath just to make it look more more pleasing and it doesn't rub on anything. Next step, grab your I believe it's a 516th vacuum hose and you are going to connect it into the elbow. You're gonna cut a small piece from this line to the line on the right of the boost control solenoid. Next, you want to grab another line. Now, from the middle, you're gonna have to run it underneath intake manifold. Underneath the intake manifold through, and just work your way through the back and get it to the right fitting, well, the driver side fitting. Make sure it's not kinked or anything. Once you get it through, just slide it through. And one thing I forgot to mention in this video is that you can reuse those clamps and just fit them right over it, just to secure the lines. So now you're gonna have to grab another line from here and do the same thing. Just run it where you just ran it previously. This time from the right side of the turbo into the last line into the boost control slowing mode, which is the one on the passenger side. Once again, just make sure it's not kinked or anything, not rubbing. And basically, that's your basic setup. Now, if you want to secure everything, Install your connectors, reuse those clamps, make sure it's all snug. That's basically it, so hope you guys enjoyed this install, very quick, easy install. Just remember to reuse those clamps as I didn't show it in this video, but it will help so that they don't come out loose while you're driving. Peace.